Alright, here's a Lego house. I've actually been working on it for the last month, and I finally pretty much have got it done. I know it weighs a lot. I, I know it's got a lot of pieces. I'm not sure exactly how the, the, the count goes. But it's a complete two-story, three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home with formal living room, dining room, and kitchen, and garage. Well, let's take a look in the garage. The door actually opens up pretty nicely, actually. You can actually see inside of there. It's kind of cool. Front yard, got an archway. I actually got a nice little water fountain. Nice white picket fence. Um, here's the backyard, and as you notice, there's no grass. With some doors for the kitchen, living room. Looks like a nice little house inside. Hard to see. But I did actually... Got some nice windows on the roof. The attic has no access. Unfortunately, there was no way to really do that. But I made it where I could pull the floors off. So, let's see here. Pull this thing apart. And, um... Here's the first story. As you may see, here's inside the garage. That's how the door opens up. Door's really basically just just on two pivots. Nothing big, nothing major. So I just got some cabinets in there, garbage cans, and a little watchdog. I thought it would be kind of cool. Let me turn the light in here. It's not yellow inside. It's the way the light looks. Here is actually a kitchen that I actually had put together. I had to get the cabinet. I found finally found the cabinets at Lego.com. And yeah, it's got a breakfast nook, everything, and I glass fell on the floor. Surprised it didn't break. So yeah, that's the full kitchen. Dining room table. And um, what house is complete about a bathroom? camera's not the best in the world. If I get the door opened up, and it's going to be a problem because it is. There's the bathroom. Yeah, and that's something. The toilet, there's the sink right behind the stairs. It's all tiled in. There's the stairs from the entrance way. And my people fell down. Let me pull those guys out of there. Uh huh. Light fixtures on the front of the house. Those are pretty easy to assemble. Um, here is the living room. Fireplace. As you may notice, there's a hole. I actually made a real working chimney. Excuse the white piece on the couch. Um, I actually ran out of another almond color, so yeah. A couple lamps in there. I didn't really go into detail on the living, on the furnishings, but overall, that's basically the first story of the house. So yeah. Now, move on to the second story. Nothing much in here, just the bedrooms. Let's take a look at the bedrooms first. So see that hole? 
goes all the way down to the fireplace. There's bedroom one, bedroom two. I don't have enough doors, so I have to get some more doors. Stairs that go all the way down to the front door. I actually got some nice brown rails, which actually adds a nice character to it. And I ran out of white pieces for the top. So I couldn't go white all the way around. Here's the master bedroom. Yep, and there's a closet. I just put guns in there. What else is in there? There's a broom, two brooms, some suitcases, keys. Actually, it's mostly guns. So, yeah. And then here is the bath bathroom. It is a full bath. Um, yeah, bathtub, toilet, and sink. Including with hairbrush. Kind of cool. I love these drawers. They actually open up. I wish the cabinets were brown though would look better. And there's the hallway. So yeah, that is the second story. Now, here is the final story, which this is what it looks like underneath. There's no attic access at all. And as you may see, you can see light right through the chimney. So yeah. But it is actually hollowed out in there. I don't know if I can get a light in there. But it is actually hollowed out. For some reason the autofocus just isn't working. And one of the problem I've had is just getting this top story on here. This actually it fitted on here right the first time. I didn't have to fight it. I'm not sure how many pieces. But I have flowers. Lots of shrubbery. Shrubbery's hard to find too. I've been digging around on eBay for trees and stuff, but all I have were the bushes from another set. Um, the light post came from the Corner Marketplace. It's one of their custom kits. I need to get more light posts. I think it would look better if I had two of them. And there's the fountain. I was trying to find some gargoyles to put on there or something that would spout out water just to make it look good. I actually have blue tiles in there too. I try to get as many tiles as I can. And a matter of fact, I have about a pound of just small tiles. And for the roof pieces, I have been collecting and collecting roof pieces. You could never not have enough roof pieces on your Lego kits. I always seem like I'd run out of those. Especially the cool angle pieces, the, in the valleys, and the attic piece right here, these top pieces that join the roof and then the ridge. I still need to order a few more of those, but yeah. Other than that though, I think it turned out pretty good one of the biggest houses I've ever built yet. It's not the best. I've seen a lot of creations on the, um, the internet. And yeah, I think I'll make another one and keep making videos on these. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my house. It looks pretty good. Um, I don't know how many pieces there are. I'm assuming there's probably about... 5,000. I am not sure. But, you know, hey. It's a lot of Legos. You may see I still got a whole bunch left. Thanks for watching.